Hello and welcome. We are on the final now. Uh, and so far we haven't really had to make a whole lot of changes to our bots. Uh, they've just been kind of breezing through things. But let's see how they do here. This map is a bit more of the kind where we were accustomed to. So I think we're a bit better off here than we were in the last one. I think we got a little bit lucky because the enemy kind of got distracted fighting two of our bots and letting the rest of ours run free. But you can see the the shotgun is quite a bit faster than the assaults, which makes it really very useful in this game mode. Uh, but we should be able to, to still work with it. The, the enemy, you can see two of their bots are tied up shooting at one of ours while three of our bots are scoring points. That's, again, a very big lead for us. And here, uh, we can see kind of our emergency nodes are going to be starting to kick into place, like our uh, our the the movement nodes we put at the end to make sure our bots are doing something useful at all instead of uh, just standing around. But this, okay, yeah, we we did manage to interrupt their bot and distract it. Their bot was going toward this middle resource, and uh, now their shotgun is trying it. Uh, but our bots are providing enough pressure and contesting this middle resource enough. Uh, mostly by happenstance, we're not really aiming for it, but the, uh, the middle resource just happens to be where the action is right now. And we killed their sniper. And like I said, if you're going to kill an enemy bot, you really kind of have to capitalize on that kill. Which our bots, because of how we designed them in Elimination and how we copied that sort of behavior in here, our bots will capitalize on pushing aggressively which is what you saw. We, we cleared out a couple of their bots from the middle, we pushed them back, we took the mid-resource, we capped it, we won. And so that's the end of chapter two. Uh, though I do want to take a look at this. So this bot functions pretty well, as you can see. It, it cleared cap chapter two rather easily. There are some improvements we could still make. Um, namely, if we wanted to, uh, what we could do is add the condition here to make sure that enemies are attacking me and then add a drop resource node. Uh, this is a fairly common strategy as well. This will cause your bot to drop the resource wherever it is and make sure the bot retreats more quickly. Now, I opted not to include this because I wasn't sure if we would need it, but we didn't. Uh, as you saw, our bot still managed pretty well. And this one, I, I kind of consider it a dice roll, because what happens is if the enemy is pressuring your bot and you drop the resource, you drop the resource close to the enemy. And the enemy will probably, if they're winning the fight, they will grab that resource and move it toward their bases. You don't really want them to do that. You want to move it toward your bases. Uh, contesting the resources and moving them toward you is how you win. So I don't like dropping the resource, but you may find some use in it there. Uh, here we've got move to the enemy bot. There's also another thing we can do. Uh, we can move toward the enemy base that is approached by an enemy. Now, generally speaking, people in collection, when they have a resource, they'll approach their base and they'll do that all the time immediately. And no other bots will be approaching bases. So you can pretty reliably say, and until you get to the higher level and you start facing opponents who are craftier and more inventive, you can pretty highly assume that the enemy bases that are being approached by an enemy are being approached by an enemy that's carrying a resource. So if you think about the geometry of it, if you're running toward the enemy and they're running toward a base, you're going to follow a curved line toward the enemy. If you move directly to the base that they're approaching, you're instead going to find yourself on a very direct line toward where their bot is already headed. And as a result, you get to where they're going faster. Um, but that's, I think that's about all I really want to add to this. You could add in a few more things for carrying resources and who's doing whatnot uh, in the attack section. But overall, this bot actually exceeded my expectations, if I'm honest. But I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a good one.